we are in a world of endless communication and unlimited interactive processes of human behaviors and practices especially if we consider some of the vital sectors and areas in our modern world such as sales negotiation copywriting advertising and media relations many researchers and philosophers have considered the process of persuasion as a process that can be used only when necessary missing an important aspect in it which is that it is not a tool we use voluntarily but it is a tool that helps us survive persuasion is the essence of life as it helps us in knowing the extent of our ability to convince ourselves and others therefore the book persuasion comes to explain the importance of persuasion in this life and helps in developing this skill in order to get what you want persuasion the art of getting what you want by dave lacani we must distinguish between manipulation and persuasion so that they are not confused in essence manipulation focuses on the manipulative person without regard to the outcome of this or its impact on the person that he is manipulating also the art of deception through falsified evidence is considered one of the pillars of manipulation in order to understand manipulation and distinguish it from persuasion we say that manipulation also seeks to create a false series of conditions or rules that govern the conflict so that the manipulation can continue Perhaps the essential point that distinguishes between both of them is the intent or the purpose, which is the main determinant that can be clearly identified and which distinguishes between manipulation and persuasion. Manipulation focuses on what the manipulator earns, while persuasion is concerned with achieving common goals that meet the needs of all sides. Perhaps what is interesting about all this process is that manipulation does not succeed in the long run, as all its results are short-term results. because all the conditions created by the manipulator are revealed when a person uses his critical thinking and when it is revealed the consequences will be severe whether for the manipulator or for anyone who supports him that is we must always know that the goals and results of manipulation are short term and the world is so small and manipulators always get caught bit to remember Manipulation is not persuasion because manipulation focuses on the manipulator while ignoring the outcome or the effect. The modern world today believes that good persuasion is an art, and since it is so, it must be developed with practice. It is similar to any skill that a person seeks to develop or crystallize in a creative form. Some have compared it to the organized dance between you and the person you persuade. In order to be so, This organization must be subject to prior knowledge of the person's needs and true desires and an understanding of the criteria upon which the decision is based. Because persuaders are so different from manipulators, they have things that distinguish them from others. Perhaps their most important characteristic is their innate curiosity about the world around them and the individuals they interact with. That is why you find them seeking knowledge of the motive forces of others. and determinants of the desires of the people they want to convince and the formation of a long-term relationship with the list of people they deal with in a framework of mutual respect this gives us the impression that persuasion is not only about selling but also about getting approval and support because it seeks primarily to create or find a common ground that satisfy all the sides of the persuasion bit to remember Persuaders are very different from manipulators because they have characteristics that distinguish them. We can compare the process of persuasion to building a house. The characteristics of your personality and the features that make you unique from others are what make others communicate and interact with you. These features are the foundation on which the house and its walls are based on. That is why your personality is what supports your ability to convince in form and content. In order to achieve this exciting and persuasive personality, you must develop your personality so that it fully supports your message, and that requires you to do your part in a perfect way and at all levels. Otherwise, the people you want to persuade may make a decision against your interests. Recent research shows that people make decisions instantly. They do not need a huge amount of information in order to make the right decisions. That is why art experts can detect a fake piece at the moment they look at the object, 
they quickly analyze the information and make a decision based on it, long before they can explain definitively why they know it is fake. It is this same principle that allows you and me to make decisions, in an instant, about whether a particular person is honest, whether he knows what he is talking about, and whether he is interested in working towards common interests. For this, it is necessary to focus on three elements in your personality that help you to raise the level of persuasion. First, appearance. Second, voice and communication skills. Third, preparation. Bit to remember, the human personality is the treasure buried within you in order to develop the skill of persuasion. The persuasive person is characterized by employing a set of methods that help him in practicing the process of persuasion easily. The best use of quick tools of persuasion is to play a supportive and soft role. You can combine it with other more complex techniques in order to achieve a highly effective strategy. Perhaps the most important of these methods are Social emulation To use social emulation and persuasion, Share with him as many people as possible who are similar to the person you are persuading, but describe them by being special because they look like him. This gives people a great deal of courage to do something they might not have done before. The point is not that everyone does this, but it is that everyone like me does this. Consistency Generating consensus throughout the persuasion process makes it much easier for your audience to reach the results you want. Empathy Feelings enhance empathy more than anything else. The more you can base other people's decisions on emotion, the more you can make them connected to you and your idea, and the faster they can empathize with you. Admiration. People's love for you is a very valuable trait that you have to develop if you want to persuade people. We all want to make deals with the people we love. It is much easier to accept ideas from someone you love than from someone you don't care about. Bit to remember. Persuasion methods and tools play a supportive and soft role for those who are supposed to be the target of persuasion. 